just <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, it's a bit, a little bit similar to, to you know, we came from the Miller-Urey experiment, right? Where um, also you start with very, very simple building blocks. And I, I'm sure at the origins of life, self-replication and evolution have been sustained by a simpler set of building blocks. And, you know, um, one can ask if it's if it's possible to 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 use such to use uh, well to use such building blocks to 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 start not from where life is right now because that took four billion years to get there right but to start actually at a at a simpler stage essentially but still have a system capable of evolution that's really that's really the holy grail I would say here because you know it's a part of the fundamental definition of life and b will help us to to get somewhere interesting. So do you think life on another planet is likely to have something very similar to our DNA, RNA protein system, or do you think it could be a completely different self-replicating thing? Like, is it, is it likely that- That's a million dollar question, because if we're looking for carbon-based, DNA-based life uh, on other planets, we might miss it. So another, another way to word this, I think, is how inevitable in the biochemistry of an early planet is what happened here on this planet with DNA to RNA to folded proteins. Is that so inevitable that you're saying, yeah, any place we find life, is, it would have been through this. It would arrive at the same solution. It would have found the same solution. Are you, are you prepared to say that? In other words, even like if we replay that if we really replay history on this planet, right, would we end up with essentially the same thing? Or could we end up with something quite different? I said the evolutionary landscape is vast, right? We're just with life as we know it, exploring a tiny, 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 tiny bit of that. And I believe that the idea of creating um, very minimal living systems from scratch will ultimately be able to help us to, to address these kind of 